Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my craft space. Today I am excited to share with you a flip through of the bead journal I have been working on for about the last month. It started as a vintage Reader's Digest book. The dimensions here are seven this way and five and a half this way. You can still see that old vintage book on the cover. I didn't want to lose that feel. So this pattern is actually the book cover uh, from the Reader's Digest book. I just love it. And then I just added some accents here, a little piece of some material too. Uh, cover those spine strings, which I did stencil on. I've got a bunch of lace here, some glittery tool, and a flat back canvas panel uh, kind of mixed media collage for the cover. And this is the Sweet Like Honey kit from Rach and Bella Crafts. I will leave a discount code in the bottom. My code is uh, FRAP. 35 F R A P P 35, and it works until December 31st of 2021. Again, that's Rach and Bella Crafts on Etsy. If you're interested in their digitals, that's where this kit came from. So without further ado, let's get started on this beautiful journal. So this is the end page here, and this is just one of the beautiful pages from Rach and Bella Crafts. I'm gonna try to zoom out just a little bit, still allowing you guys to see everything. Uh, this one I thought was a great signature page. Didn't need much, it just kind of speaks for itself. This one as well. This yellow accent here that you're seeing is actually the end page from the Reader's Digest book, and I just love that. On the inside covers of each signature, this book I forgot to mention is three signatures. And um, on the inside cover of each signature, I used one of those uh, 12 by 12 round scalloped cut papers here to make some pockets. So we've got some ephemera tags and some pockets here. Uh, put some eyelets in the corners and added a little charm. These are actually little wood stickers and uh, dry embossed uh, pieces for texture here at the bottom. Music page, a sweet little ticket and a pocket. This is an envelope that's dry embossed. One of these beautiful pieces of ephemera from the kit, and I just kind of left it a little bit blank on the back here so you can do some journaling. Still plenty of room in this pocket to tuck in some other goodies. Piece of notebook paper with a uh, beautiful bee photograph there from a bee book, bee keeping book. Little bee sticker and some little bee zoomies. <laughs> some fun decorated tickets here. Oops. And this is a fun pocket with some book page and beautiful pages from the kit. This is an envelope from the kit. I just stamped with some Prima stamps there. So you can tuck a secret little note or some photos or something fun in there. Page left blank here for some journaling or for some photos. Scallop tag, all mixed media decorated. This is a tiny little envelope here from the kit stamped with Prima stamps and I just love this here. This is on an index uh, card, a large one, and then you've got plenty of room for journaling decorated here with some die cuts, some beautiful lace on this ledger paper, fun little tabs and tickets, uh, some more beautiful printed pages from a beekeeping book, more ledger. This is an actual mini file folder and it does open up. Some cute images from the kit and it just clips here on the side of this ledger paper and then another uh, side of the index card this is a decorated uh, tiny coin envelope this is from a Dollar Tree calendar a beautiful little honeybees and flowers please image and it just hides a little bee there and this tuck spot here is a uh, altered Rolodex card that I printed the kit pages onto, so you can tuck some things under there. Fun little collaged page here. Cute little tag here. And then this guy opens here, so you can put some more notes or something fun inside here. Another piece of notebook paper with some beautiful images from the kit. Another bee with some little buzzies. 
and a coin envelope, again decorated with some beautiful pieces from the kit and a little stamp there and stamp here. Those are fun to put little notes in or pieces of ephemera. Now this was a piece of a master board that I cut up to make some fun tags. So that is in here as well. Got a lot of fun, beautiful collage pieces out of that master board. I love this beautiful flower here. The red is just such a fun pop of color in this book. Music page. There's the other side of the pocket. And some really large tags. A dry embossed uh, envelope here with some honeycomb. And uh, the signatures were all placed with this matching paper here from the kit. We have another one of those pockets. Some fun things tucked in here. Another piece from the master board, another negative, and a piece of uh, or a big tag here. Now this one is a fun page. I made a video on this. If you haven't seen it already, definitely check that out. This is an interactive picture wheel. So he does spin around and there's some cute little images here from the kit. Negative punched out with some die cut little bees. There's the other side of the negative here and here with the bees. And on the back side there are images too. So as it spins around, you can see these little sparkle windows and images from the kit. This page here is left just as a collage piece, so you can put your notes or ephemera or leave it just like it is. Music page, some envelopes with those dry embossing. Lots of little things stuck in here. This is one of the Rolodex cards, white on the back, so you can add some journaling. Another little coin envelope in there. Another piece of notebook paper with one of those beautiful images from the kit. Some little strip of the master board here. Now this tag is super fun. This is on the other side of a large index card. Has a B here and a B die cut and it pops up like this with some little honeycomb pages from the kit, piece of that master board and a B in there. And it's just clipped here on this Rolodex card so you can take it out if you want to. A fun little tuck spot here. A piece of ledger paper, again decorated with this beautiful paper from the kit. Another image from the beekeeping book. Some fun more images from the beekeeping book and some lace die cuts. Here's another one of those interactive little tags that you open up and it has some images and little honeycombs from the kit. Piece of that negative and a fun bee die cut there. This is a little pocket, has a fun ticket in there. Some beautiful images from the kit and another bee image from the beekeeping book. This is a fun mixed media style tag. It's got the piece of the collage from the master board and then some of the honeycomb uh, background die cut from Tim Holtz on there. Just clip to that index card so you can take it out and put it wherever you'd like. This is just a piece of notebook here. Uh, you can journal in here, you can put a photo in there, whatever you'd like to do. And I love this flower with the honeycomb and the bee. Another little buzzy bee over there. This was a fun piece of the master board I cut apart, so it's a nice journaling card tucked into this pocket here. Some beautiful paper from the kit, music page. Here is a fun piece from the kit as well. I just love these collages. They've got so many beautiful images, some fun little uh, sunflowers here with little bees, little bees. This little tab I stamped with uh, the honey stamp from Prima. And over here we have a nice tuck spot and another beautiful image from that beekeeping book. Coin pocket, just like the other pocket, a large tag there. It says a land flowing with milk and honey. Some lace die cutting down here. Room to put some of your own charms if you want to put some charms, more charms in there. This one has a charm here. And then this is the cover of the last signature. So all of the pages coordinate on the signatures and I think that makes it look really, really nice. Inside pocket here again with the scallops, a large tag, a little piece of doily here. And then it has this charm again. Here is just a gold, little round gold piece. Some of this nice uh, die cut lace, piece of music page. Another envelope here. This is an image from the kit, so beautiful. And inside our pocket over here, we have a nice little journaling card. This was made from the master board that I collaged and cut apart. Put a little tap on it there. It's got some fun texture. A 
And this is a piece of notebook paper, has a doily, some of those honeycombs, an actual piece of honeycomb cut from a book. And it says, top tip, storing cut comb pieces in the freezer, make sure that the honey stays in its original state until the point of use. So I thought that was fun. A little buzzy bee on this side. And then this one is like a, I don't know what they call a beekeeping place, but it kind of looks like a big greenhouse. Um, and it has these little bees on it. This is an image from the kit. Put some brads on here just to accent those florals. And then when you flip this open, there are some fun little pieces from the kit. So lots of interactive pieces in this journal here. And I, again, I just really love these pops of red and little pops of color. This is a scalloped tag here on the large index card. A couple of tags made from a master board that I collaged and cut apart. In the back you can do some journaling or add some photos. They all have eyelets in them for a nice finished look. And this one has a, it's like a epoxy sticker here with the honey. This is a, pap a page of different honeys from the beekeeping book that I had. Some more honeycomb bricks, honey in and of itself there. Some plants with honey, a piece of ledger. This is a, a little tuck spot with a picture from the book. This is another uh, image from the Dollar Tree calendars, the farm farmer's market ones or farmhouse ones. And you just flip it up there and you've got a plenty of space to journal on that large index card. Some more photos from the beekeeping book that I have. Beautiful page from the kit here. Absolutely love these collages. Now this one is just a piece of the cardstock. I kind of left it plain so you could add in plenty of photos or do some journaling on a full page here. This is just a piece from the collage master board and it's just paper clips. So you can take that out or leave it in there, whichever suits your needs. This one here is a piece of journaling paper, notebook paper uh, with a beautiful image of flowers and a bee from the bee book that I have. Another collaged tag from the collage master board that I made, uh, just paper clipped in there so you can move it wherever you'd like. And this one is a journaling or a little tag or journaling card from the collage master board. I made so many pieces from that wonderful collage. And then this one is another page from the kit music page. Last page of our signature here, again with another uh, larger coin envelope. Large tag here left for plenty of decoration uh, for you to do or some uh, journaling, add some photos, lots of different opportunities you could do there. And again, these pockets, you can do the same thing there. And then it ends with two Bs and we're at the back of the journal. So such a fun kit to work with. And um, it's been a beautiful project. I had so much fun and uh, would definitely recommend doing this kit super 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 fun even if you I'm not really sure I'm a bee fan but this uh this kit was so much fun to work with I had so much fun I loved every second of it and decorating with some colors the yellows and the color palette the yellows the browns and those pops of red was absolutely fun um, I'm definitely excited to do another project with this theme in the future so i hope you guys have enjoyed this journal flip through and we'll give it a thumbs up comment down below and let me know uh, what projects you have made with a bee theme or if you have used this beautiful sweet like honey kit from rachel and bella crafts thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already definitely hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know when i post all of my future videos and um, i hope you guys are all well and we'll stay tuned for the next video